Hello friends, how are you all today? I hope you're well. Uh, yes, I'm in the same top. This is the morning after the day before uh, when I did my thoughts on video for the end of July. <laughs> Brain's still not working. Um, yeah, that video went out about, I don't know, about six o'clock and afterwards I literally, I went straight to bed because that stupid migraine, God, they're so frustrating. Um, and I stayed in bed for 14 hours. <laughs> I wasn't asleep the whole of that time. Goodness me, it was a hot night. But I think it was just, I think it's knocked the edge off this head, as it were. Um, Anyone who's ever had a migraine will know that the minute the migraine's gone, the temptation is to run around in celebration, but that's the quickest way to bring the migraine straight back. So we always have to have a really chilled, calm day the day afterwards. And that's exactly what I'm in the process of having today. Um, now I mentioned yesterday, I've got a borrowed sewing machine. I'm not now gonna get that till Monday. That's fine. Um, and I was saying about probably the first thing I'm going to do on the 1st of August in my new, my new regime would be to have a day off. <laughs> Not quite ready for that yet. Uh, I think I'm just kind of itching to get going. Itching to get going. Yeah, that's right. I'm sorry, I'm a bit... Bleh. It's always a bit... Bleh after a migraine. Anyway, um, yes, yeah, so I've literally, I've rolled out of bed, I've put the same clothes on as yesterday, no one's gonna smell me. Can you, <laughs> you can't smell that from there, can you? Um, so I'm going to have a quiet day. I am, at some point this afternoon, I'm gonna curl up on my sofa with a notebook and just jot down notes, dreams, aspirations, all sorts for this month. Let that sink in a bit and then probably tomorrow on Sunday formulate a bit of a structure for the month. Now that might sound a bit mm, to some people, mm, structure, but actually I do best with structure. So, you know, that works for me. So that's what I'm gonna do. So this morning I've already started a little bit. Um, I've started going through cupboards and drawers and all my little secret stash places. I live in quite a small home. Uh, it's a studio flat. One of these days I might show you around after I've had a tidy. So essentially I've got one big room. One end has my bed, the other end has my sort of sofa and books and my bureau as you've seen and then over here I have my sewing table separate kitchen, separate bathroom, a little bit of a hallway there which you never see and I've got my built-in cupboards there, that's essentially my wardrobe and there's a big cupboard in the top for stashing things which I don't use too often but I don't want them too far away so things like my power tools, <laughs> power tools and frocks. Um, yeah so I've just started having a little look through things uh, at things to sell. Now I've always done that. I've, I've regularly had a good old go through my cupboards. I usually do it on the 1st of January. It always feels like a really good way to start the new year. It's like out with the old, the stale stuff. And I talked a little bit about it in that video I made months and months ago now about the Gentle Artist Swedish death cleaning. But anyway, I think it's always worth revisiting the cupboards because there's always something that you know, I might have looked at it three years ago and thought, oh no, I don't want to part with it. Two years ago, I think, mm. last year, mm. and then I think to myself, oh, come on, Vivi. So, for example, you're not going to be able to make them out because I've just put them in a bank baggie. But in here, you see there are dozens and dozens and dozens of nibs and inkwells and the corresponding holders you see the ink um the nib slot into there i used to do calligraphy i loved it i i i went to a night school course for a year did my city and guilds in calligraphy passed uh really really enjoyed it but it's incredibly time consuming um 
you know, it's a, it's a very slow, fine art form. I loved it. But I've got to be realistic, I haven't touched these in over five years, possibly even more. So I'm totally out of practice and, you know, you might say, oh, don't get rid of them, Vivi, just, you know, make the time to do it again. And being realistic, if I haven't found the time in the last five years or however many to, to do it, I don't think I'm going to. So I'd rather put these on eBay and... You know, who knows, maybe someone will be starting their calligraphy course in September and they'll be delighted because none of these things are cheap. They'll be delighted to get this mega bunch. I don't know how many is in there. There's all sorts of sizes and shapes depending on the hand, the, the character of the letter you're going to do. Anyway, so that's a perfect example of, yes, I've cleared out over the years regularly but there's always something else I can find. I don't have anything much now left by way of jewellery. I've sold all my jewellery. Not really a jewellery person. I like bracelets and rings and that's about it. So I've got rid of all my jewellery bar three rings, which I'm going to drop off, get those valued, see if they're worth anything. Uh, and I'm more than happy to part with those. As you saw in the shed the other day, again, it's, it's always boils down to being practical. I don't make tea from the shed anymore, so there's no point in having a tea caddy there. So this has come home. It's had a really, really good scrubby clean. It's a lovely little thing, so that will go into the shop. So I'm having a sort out by way of things for the shop, my shop, and things for eBay. So obviously the calligraphy pens, they don't really have a place in my online shop. So eBay is fine for them. Also for my shop, um, a couple of years ago, I inherited, well, I say inherited, from my great aunt. I mean, she hasn't died yet. She's still going strong. God love her. Over 100 now. Yes, she's well. Thank you. Um, I got a load of preserving jars from her house just because she does not do that anymore. <laughs> for goodness sakes, she can barely hold a pan of water with one egg in it, never mind doing all the other preserving. So I've gone through and I found all my spare kilner jars. These are going to go into my shop. But first of all, what I need to do is I need to buy some new screw bands and rubber seals for them so that whoever buys them from my shop, they are ready to go for a bit of canning. Also, as an example, this, the ball canning book, the, what's it called? The Complete Book of Home Preserving. It's pretty much the Bible for anyone who wants to do any canning, as you would say in America, bottling, as we say here in the UK. And there are recipes in here for bottling both using a water bath canner, which is the method I use for my tomatoes, or a pressure canner. Now, over time, over the last sort of three or four years or so, uh, I've worked out how best I want to store all my produce. So I don't need this anymore. Um, essentially, I bought it years ago, mostly for doing the tomatoes. I've got that recipe down pat now. It's also written down elsewhere. So it's a beautiful, beautiful copy, perfectly clean. It was about 20 pounds when I bought it. So it's an expensive book. It's like, why have I got that on my shelf? I never refer to it anymore, so that can go in the shop. It won't be for £20. I'll probably do it for like a tenner, and then someone's going to get it for half the price it would cost if they were buying it elsewhere. So yeah, all sorts of things like that to be getting on with. And now I'm going to wrap this up quite quickly because this is going to be a little quickie today. But the other thing I'm going to do for eBay, I'm going to sell my shoe collection oh i've got loads and the thing is as an example i'll show you these ones first <laughs> look at the heel i love these i don't think they're going to pick it up but there's a bit of a stack under here as well they need a jolly good dusting because they're velvet you see isn't that lovely they're so sort of 40s looking um now, until about 10 years or so ago, <laughs> see, I was a lot slimmer, but also I had places to go, places to go out, and I always used to dress very 40s, very sort of tea dress, 
in my lovely sort of 40s stacks. Firstly, I don't go to those sort of places anymore. Secondly, the dresses don't fit me anymore. Maybe they will again one day, I don't know. But thirdly, the important thing is, I can't wear a heel with my knees anymore. Absolutely can't do it. So I've got, like I said, I've got tons and tons of shoes from over the years. I may keep one pair just out of nostalgia. But again, what's the point? Because, you know, if I'm never ever going to wear them again, it's not like I've got kids. It's not like I've got a daughter who might want these or want me to pass them on to her. And then she has a granddaughter and they go into Granny's attic one day and go, oh my goodness, look at these gorgeous vintage shoes. Oh, they're worth a mint. Let me have them. That's not going to happen. So what's the point of me keeping them always, always practical? And then I was thinking, oh, look at this, this is gorgeous. Look at the colour. <gasps> Isn't that an absolute beaut? Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. But again, I, I love the little detail around here. And the, oh, it's such beautiful, soft, gorgeous leather. Even that much of a heel, that's only like two inches in total. Those, they're more like four inches. <laughs> Probably five but even that much of a heel, I just can't wear it. I, it honestly, my, it just cripples my knees to stand up in these. And I think even, even one day after I've had knee surgery, which is still probably years away, by then will I really be going anywhere in these? Oh, but they're so cute. So yeah, that's what I'm just gonna get on with today, quietly gathering all my bits and bobs together in one place deciding what's for the shop what's for ebay then start the mammoth task of cleaning things um obviously with things like this getting them all brushed making that suede beautiful again if it's leather shoes making sure everything's had a polish um yeah so lots and lots of cleaning with books i tend to keep my books clean anyway because I am a book nerd, I'm pretty precious about my books, so they're all probably okay. I will flick through all of them first, so I'll do that kind of, you know, that kind of upside downy flick, because in the past, every now and again, I have stuffed a fiver in a book for safekeeping for emergencies, and then the emergency happens, it's like, which book did I put the fiver in? I've got no idea. So yeah, this lot, will keep me busy but quietly busy over the next few hours <clears throat> and I've no doubt just hoiking these out now um, oh, suddenly the memories the memories that come flooding back all the dancing that's been done in I mean, how did I dance in those I don't know but yeah I think that's the other great thing about having a good rummage in the cupboards is just all the memories things provoke you know <coughs> excuse me here's an idea if it's something say like these shoes which I know I'm never going to wear again but they have such great memories associated with them well for for one thing I know that there's I've got a ton of photos of me all dressed up in them anyway but I could always just take a photo I mean I'm going to be taking photos of them anyway for eBay but there's nothing to stop me popping them on quickly now well not in yesterday's garb maybe with a frock take a quick photo and that can be kept for the memories just have a little album of photos rather than boxes and boxes and boxes of shoes so that's it for today i'm going to love you and leave you um tomorrow ah yes you'll see a video from the garden and just as I was saying in my thoughts on yesterday, this isn't necessarily going to be daily videos, but just as and when I'm doing anything over this next month, if it's, if it's a quick and easy video for me to make, as in I'm just sitting having a chat and a little demo, whatever, like this, then I will. If I try some of those recipes, I'll bring you along for that. So there might be something every day, there might not be anything for a week, but we'll just go with the flow, eh? go with the flow all right lovelies 
please all of you be well at least it's cooled down a bit today thank goodness because it is still a bit yeah so yes look after yourselves i'm going to try and look after me too <laughs> for once so i will see you all tomorrow in the garden bye for now <laughs>